Hi friends, my name is Heather and I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a challenge and it is hosted by Cooking Up Crafts and it's hashtag Cooking Up Crafts Prompt Challenge. And Cooking Up Crafts, that is Amanda and she is one of my very sweet friends, very sweet and talented and I love her. And she has a challenge going on right now for January where she picked some prompt cards and you have the whole month to do the challenge and she's going to do it every month this year. So I think this might be hurry up and do Amanda's challenge day because I know a few other people that have done it and I'm jumping in there and doing it too because I keep putting it off. Can't do that anymore. Sorry for shaking. And let's just do it. So her prompts were letters slash words, scrap paper, distress ink, and mesh. So if this is upside down, I'm sorry. I never know which way my video is going to be. It's really weird. It does weird things. So let's just do it. I actually found some things um, out, found some things for my craft area and have them out already so that it won't take me forever, you know, digging and all that. So I found this beautiful bird picture, it's glary for you, sorry, in my garden bird book and I thought it would be really pretty to use. That would be like an extra thing I would be adding, but she said that you could use other things that doesn't have to be just those things. So I got some words here it says use your wings it was on a free printable that I printed a long time ago so I don't remember where I got it but thought that would be a good thing I also found songbirds in that book but I think I'm going to use the use your wings also um, it's their scrap paper and I have dug out a few scrap papers and this one actually has some very faint words on it there and then distress ink and I have my vintage photo distress ink out and mesh and I don't know for sure what mesh is <laughs> so I'm using some of this tool I believe it's called which is like mesh so we're going to use that and I am going to try to make a cluster so I thought that would be fun to do I haven't made a cluster for a while I'm going to start out with this book page here and I'm going to make a big cluster because my bird is big. So maybe I should rip the bird first so I can see how big I need it to be. So let's rip the bird out. Kind of hate ripping the background because it's pretty, but it's okay. <laughs> Amanda, I'm doing it for you. Just joking. So we're going to rip this bird out of here. There are some really pretty colors in the picture. I hope this isn't going to be glary for you all the whole time. I'm going to rip it over here. Okay. There we go. So we've got my bird here. Made me rip a little bit more. Here's my bird. I had this scrap paper here. We'll flip that over. That will fit. And then we've got this scrap paper here with some words on it. That'll fit on there. So I think that'll be good. Sorry for the glare. I'm going to leave this to the side until the end, until we have to put it on. I was thinking about adding this book page too because that is also words. So maybe we'll rip a piece of this up. Oh my goodness. I'm terrible at tearing too. Okay, so let's see. We'll use this piece as a background maybe and then maybe this piece and then maybe this book page maybe stick here and then maybe my bird will go on top of there 
that's looking like it'll be okay. All right, so let's add some Distress Ink to my book page. And that'll, um, we're supposed to use Distress Ink, so that'll be my Distress Ink. One of the prompts, I'm just doing it like this. Nothing fancy, guys, I'm not fancy. Okay, so we added a little bit of Distress Ink here. On this page, we'll go ahead and we'll add some on here too, because why not? Can't really see it that much. Sorry about my desk. Well, this is actually a table. Like, if you've watched videos before, I had to switch to this table because my Um, camera setup thing would not attach to my desk and stay. So I had to switch. You can't really tell that I used the Distress Ink too much on there. I kind of want to put more on here because it's kind of fun. I don't like this little part here though. All right, so we've got, let me find the list. Okay, we've got letters and words because we've got the book page and also there's letters and words on here and I'm gonna add some words at the end. And then scrap paper, we've got that, we've got this. I may use this and Distress Ink we've already done. Now we just gotta add some mesh this is going pretty fast here. All right, I don't know if you would call this a cluster because it's so big, but it's something. It's something and I'm gonna put it in a journal somewhere. I love birds, all kinds, especially owls, but all kinds of birds. Okay, maybe we'll do it that way because the words were upside down. Maybe we'll do that. Not that it really matters. Like that. Get this out of the way. I think that's trash. Yes, okay. And then now we're going to need the bird. Sorry guys, I need to get you in frame. Okay, so got the bird. And then we're gonna add this and we'll add some mesh too. Let's, well, tool, let's grab some. That, don't know how much I'm gonna use. Or where exactly. Maybe put it like that. I'm trying to get it where it's not so glary. One second, let me see if this turning this lamp off helps. Not really, still glary. Okay, sorry I picked a glossy picture, but I love this picture, so I'll try to do, there we go. So you can see without it being, okay, so that's what it's looking like. We can cut some off down here. I will show it to you. Try to get it unglary when I get it all done. I don't think with a cluster you're technically supposed to use glue, but I'm going to because I want to make sure it stays together and then I will put a staple through it too. I need to get some more glue out too. Okay, we'll stick that down there. I'm gonna actually grab some of this tacky glue that I had right there. 
and we're going to use that like in the middle of this here in the middle where the bird's going to be under the tool slash mesh okay so that's on there I was actually, I had these napkins too. That would be adding even more things, but I think it might be okay. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this napkin. Don't remember where I got it. I might have bought that at Dollar Tree. Let's get the back of the napkin off. There we go. We may use this. And then I actually had this little piece of scrap paper here too that I may possibly use. Okay. Maybe if I rip more off of the bird picture, it won't be as glary. Alright. That might be a little better. Alright. Now maybe the bird go maybe the bird will go there. Maybe we'll stick a little bit of this ripped napkin over here I'm trying to rip up this scrap paper where it's not showing white And I may stick that over here. Okay, so that'll be good. Can I do that? Glue that up there. Lots of layers here. And now everything else is ripped except for this little the word. So I'm gonna rip off of the sides. Hopefully I can rip this without actually ripping the words. If I rip the words, we will use the other words. Or there's words on here, but I like to add a word at the end. Thank you all for watching my video today. Please be sure to go check out Amanda's channel, Cooking Up Crafts. She's so very creative and so sweet, and I just love her. Her channel is wonderful. Now I don't like this. I think we need something else under here. Her channel is wonderful, so she does all kinds of beautiful mixed media things and master boards and ATC cards and coins and cards and stamping and embossing and just so much fun stuff. You definitely wouldn't be disappointed. Let's try to rip some of this book page here. That might not look good with that, but that'll be fine. I think it'll be all right. We'll go ahead and add some more distressing. And you still have time to join in and do this challenge for January also. Still have a few days left to join in. It's always fun to join in with friends. Okay, maybe, maybe not that. One second, let me look for another piece of scrap. I have all kinds of scraps down here. Oh, actually, I have this right here that I wrote the stuff on. Maybe stick that under there, possibly. Let's rip it.
I don't like that. I ripped it kind of weird. Now, of course, I got to do this edge. All right, maybe stick that and then that and then of course that needs to make now too. We're just going to put it on there like that. And then we're going to put the use your wings. And I have this little piece. Maybe we'll stick that under there. <laughs> That's the fun th thing about clusters. You can just keep adding and adding. You never know what you're going to end up with. Okay. I think I'm going to do that so I'm going to staple it at the end around here somewhere but I need to get I'm going to get the glue to kind of some glue down to stay oh my goodness this desk okay now we'll kind of stick that over it and there was this little piece here Okay, stay. <laughs> All right, now let's stick this part down. Yeah, like I said, with an actual cluster, I believe we're not have to not supposed to put glue on. I think it's just supposed to be small, and you're not gonna need glue. You just use like a staple, but. When I make them, make my big little collage cluster things, I like to add glue to make sure they stay, especially since I usually put them in a book. All right, so it's all glued down. Now let's add, we'll add a staple here. We'll add a couple staples here. All right, there we go. Here is my little collage cluster thing. I used all of the prompts and came together pretty quick. I'm happy with it. Thank you, Amanda, for hosting this. I will link um, Amanda's channel, Cooking Up Crafts, down below. If you play along, please use the see you prompt challenge the hashtag and I will see you all again soon have a great night bye